Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video uh, in the series of videos that I've that I've posted there on, on my channel uh, dealing with Boolean expressions uh, is going to look at how to take a Boolean expression and to represent the Boolean expression through a truth table. And the Boolean expression that I have here has uh, one, two, three, four major terms in it. Uh, looks a little bit complicated, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this particular expression uh, stage by stage, term by term, left to right, and we're going to represent it through a true table. Okay? The first thing that we should uh, should observe from this particular expression is the inputs to this particular to this particular system. Uh, how many unique letters have we got in the system? Well, we have an A, uh, we have Bs, and we have C's. So this is a three input system. Uh, and what we'll do is for our true table, don't forget our true table has two parts. has a left hand part where we list the inputs and the possible states that the inputs could be in at any moment in time. And the right hand part of this particular bar, actually let me make this a double bar, okay, is where we have the evaluation of the Boolean expression stage, stage by stage. We'll just make that a double bar there, okay, to differentiate it from any other particular column that we're going to have in this table. So there's three inputs, there's uh, A, B and C. So we have an A, we have a B, and we have a C. And what we need to do is we need to list all the possible states that A, Bs, and Cs could be in, uh, in this particular system. Uh, well, C could be on, uh, sorry, off, it could be zero, it could be one, it could be zero, it could be one, it could be zero, it could be one, it could be zero, it could be one. We'd continue in that fashion, okay? Really what we want to do is we want to try to end up with a whole row of ones at the end of this particular this particular representation. And you can see, so the first input that's closest to the double bar, it alternates 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and would continue in this particular fashion forever, okay? The next input has two zeros, followed by two ones, two zeros, followed by two ones, and it continues in that fashion forever. Okay? The next input has four zeros, zero, 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 followed by four ones, one, 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 and would continue in that fashion, yeah? But we know when to stop here. We stop when we have a full row of ones at the end of the representation. Okay. So these are all the possible states that the tree that the tree input system could be in at any moment in time. And the question we have is that when we pass them states through this Boolean expression, what is the output going to be? Okay. So to do this uh, in one go, uh, we'll take the first term, okay, uh, which is a bar ended with a or b bar, and we'll do the representation of that first of all. So going from left to right, before I do this and, I have to calculate an A bar, so let's create a column called A bar, or the negation of the A. And the negation of the A is simply when A is 0, which it is there, it becomes 1. So 0 goes to 1, 0 goes to 1, 0 goes to 1. And when it's 1, it goes to 0, so 1 goes to 0, 0, 0, 0. And that gives us our column, uh, that's going to give us the column uh, A bar. Okay, so that's our, that's our first column. Okay? Now this needs to be ended with this expression here, okay? But this expression is an A ord with B barred, and the bar is across the operator. So before we can do the inversion or the negation, we have to figure out what A ord with B is. So let's do a column called A ord with B. Okay. A ord with B is just the straightforward ordering of two inputs. And we know that an OR only ever gives us zero when both of the inputs are simultaneously zero. So you can see here there's zero, so we get a zero. Here there's zero, we get a zero. They're not both simultaneously zero, so we get a one. Not both simultaneously zero, we get a one. And so on and so forth. They're not both simultaneously zero, so we get a one. So we end up with A or B, okay? Now that we've calculated A or B, we can move on and we can calculate the invert, the inversion of that, which is A or B bar, okay? So the negation of A or B, well, the A or B uh, values are along here. So the negation of them, 0 goes to 1, 0 goes to 1, 1 goes to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which gives us our A or B bar column, okay? Uh, now that we have the A or B bar column and we have the A bar column, we can now undertake or perform the anding of both of those particular sets of values. So what we're going to calculate next is A bar ended with 
A or B bar. Okay? <coughs> Don't forget that an and only ever gives us one when both of them are simultaneously one. So here we have two ones. So we get a one. Here we have two ones, we get a one. And in all other cases along here there's zero, so we'll never have simultaneous ones. So what we end up with is zero, 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 zero. Okay. So this term here now, this column represents the first term in our Boolean expression. Moving on, we need to calculate A and it with A or C. But before we can do this outer out, out or and, we have to do this inner or. Okay, so we need to calculate A or with C. Which is just an ordering of the A column with the C column. And don't forget once again for an or, an or only ever gives a zero when both of them are simultaneously zero. So we have two zeros here, so we get a zero. We don't have two zeros here, so we get a one. We have two zeros here, so we get a zero. We don't have two zeros here, so we get a one. Uh, we don't have two zeros here, or here, or here, or here, so we end up with one, 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 one. Okay. Uh, so that gives us our A or with our C. Okay. And uh, now what we need to do is we now we can do the A, the A, and it with the A or C to give us our second term. Uh, so what we need to do is an AND. Don't forget that an AND only ever gives us one when both of them are simultaneously one. We're looking at two columns here, the A column and the A or C column. So the A column is the first column and the A or C column is the, li latest, the last column that we did. So it's an AND, so we're looking for simultaneous ones. No, 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 yes, 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 yes. So the last four values are simultaneous ones. So that gives us one everywhere else we're going to have. A zero. Okay, so that's that term done. The next term that we need to do is B anded with A or C bar. Uh, so before we can do the and, the outer and, we have to do this term here. Before we can do the inversion or the bar, we have to do the or. Okay, uh, so we already have calculated A or C. Here's the column here. So we can actually calculate its inversion, A or C bar. Okay, which is just take the A or C column and convert and invert it. So zero goes to one, zero, one, zero, 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 zero to give us our A or with C. Okay, we're nearly there. Now we can calculate what the B is and with this particular value here, A or with C bar. The B is simply the B column. Uh, the a ord with C bar is the A ord with C bar column. So that will give us B and it with A ord with C bar. So once again, it's an and, it's the outer and, so we only ever get a one when both of them are simultaneously one. So we're going to have the B and the A or C bar column. So there's no simultaneous one here or here. There is in the third case, so there is here. There's none in the first two. And everything else is zero, so we'll never have simultaneous ones all the way down. Uh, because we have zeros here, so we end up with zero, 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 zero. So now we've calculated the third term. Okay, so we're nearly there. Uh, the next thing that we need to calculate is, we need to calculate, this is a little bit more complicated. Okay? We'll look at this term on the left hand side of the end. Uh, it's a bar across an OR, but before we can do that bar across the OR, we have to calculate A bar we also need to calculate A C bar. Yeah, We've already calculated A bar earlier on, so we have that particular input. So we need a C bar. We haven't calculated that anywhere. So we're going to need a C bar, which is take the C column and invert it. So 0 goes to 1, 1 goes to 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, to give us our C bar column. And now we can actually create our A bar ord with, ord with our C bar column. Okay. Our A bar order our C bar column is simply our A bar column, which is the second, the first column that we did, okay, or well, the first application that we did, along with our last column, which is our C bar. So an OR only ever gives us zero when both of them are simultaneously zero. So they're not simultaneously zero here, neither here, neither here, neither here, neither, oops, neither here, neither, they are there, so we get a zero here. They're not simultaneously zero there, but they are in the last case here. So we end up with something that looks like looks like this. And there are one, two, three, four values, one, two, three, four values. So this gives us our A bar over our C bar. 
So we've done what's inside or inside the inverter, yeah, or the negation. And so now we can negate it. So it's A bar or the C bar negated. Okay. So we flip the ones to zero, so this becomes zero, 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 one, zero, one. Brilliant. And we're nearly there now. Uh, so we've calculated the left hand side of this particular and here. Okay, uh, so now we have to calculate what A or B is. But we've already calculated what A or B is. It's down the third column. Okay, uh, so now we can actually calculate. I'll just use the ruler here to bring this across, and so that's a little bit neater. Okay, so now that we can, what we can do is we can calculate what A bar or the C bar is. Bar. That's this column. This needs to be ended with the A or B column, which is this column. So it's an AND, which only ever gives us one, and both of them are simultaneously one. Okay, they're not there, 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 they are there, so we get a 1 here, they're not going to be here, so we get a 0, they are here, so we get a 1, everywhere else we're going to get a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay, so what we've calculated, okay, we're nearly there, is we've calculated the first term, which is here, the second term, which is here, the third term, which is here, and the fourth term, which is here. And what we need to do is we need to OR all of them terms together. Okay? Don't forget an OR only ever gives us zero. We're going to call this function f. Sorry. Okay? That's the function f. Uh, so the f function is an evaluation of one, two of three ORs, yeah, okay, which has four inputs, which we've defined here, 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 and here. An OR only ever gives us zero when everything is zero. Well, we have a one here, so it doesn't matter what everything else is, we're going to get a one. We have a one here, so it doesn't matter what everything else is, we're going to get a one. We have a zero here, a zero, but we have a one here, so we're going to get a one, okay? We have a zero here, a zero here, a zero, sorry, a zero, a zero, a zero. And a zero here, so we end up with a zero. And uh, we have a zero here. Well, we have a one, so we end up with a with a one. And uh, we have a zero, but we have a one here, so we end up with a one. Okay. And you can see that there's more ones here coming down. So zero with a one is going to be one. And it doesn't matter whether this is a zero because it's ordered with a one, which is going to give us a one. And then the final one is the first term ordered with one gives us one. That's a zero. That's a one, so we're always going to get one out here. And what we've just constructed here is the true table for the Boolean expression that we've called f. And the output, depending on what the input values are, so when a is zero, b is zero, and c are zero, when they're all these specific values, this function will give us a value of one. Okay? Uh, when the values are zero, one, and one, zero for a, one for b, one for c, the output is going to be, oh, which one is this? This is the one, two, three, the fourth one down is going to be zero, okay? So what a true table gives us is it gives us all the possible outputs that we could get from a particular expression, considering or under the condition of all the possible inputs that we could have. Okay, guys, um, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, I hope this video was some way informative, okay? Thank you.